بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين My name is uh, Mustafa Samias. So I used to be called Stephen, my my ex name, and uh, I uh, my background is. Uh, uh, I was actually born a Greek Orthodox. I've been to many Christian schools and stuff, uh, whether they be Catholic or um, uh, Christian Maronite or Greek Orthodox or whatever. Um, growing up, I, um, uh, I I sort of had a religious uh, background when I was younger, but I, I guess I fell away from um, going to church. I, I didn't really it didn't really gel with me, you know. And uh, I um, I've always asked questions about a lot of things. I've never really accepted dogma. As it was presented to me, and uh, I've always been one of these people who always questions everything, including religion. And I guess um, in the last 20 to 25 years, I've really been searching, and I think I, I found the answer that I've I've always been uh, wanting wanting uh, uh, with uh, with Islam, and um, and that, that is why I, I embraced it about two and a half years ago, uh, 2009 to be exact. Growing up in the 90s, I was really searching for a lot of things, and I I, um, I moved from Sydney to, to Queensland because Sydney was a very bad environment for me. I was actually working in a, in a liquor store for five years, and I've seen the worst humans you could ever imagine, and it really uh, shook my belief in uh, um, in humanity, I guess. And uh, when I moved to Queensland, I, um, I I was searching for 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 the truth, whatever, whatever that was, and I remember saying a prayer to the Creator: "Show me the truth, and I'll accept it." You know. And it was during this time I, I, I went to the, the Mormons and the Jehovah's Witnesses and uh, all the different congregations of Christianity to find out the truth. And I could never get the uh, concise answer that I, that I wanted. You know, why am I here? What is the purpose of my existence? You know? And um, it wasn't until September 11 in the year 2001 that, that um, a little spark went off in my head. I thought, well, geez, I, I'd never really looked at Islam before, you know, and uh, I don't really know anything about this. Uh, this religion, you know, and I guess I left it at that. I didn't re really research it any further, but I, I sort of had a, a feeling that maybe the Muslims were the ones who who were really practicing uh, the right way, you know, and and it certainly made a lot of sense considering the whole world is 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 actually engaged in war against uh, the Muslims, and I, I had the uh, the sense that maybe uh, the Muslims were on the right track. It wasn't until two two thousand five that I actually went overseas for a trip with my my then girlfriend. And we went uh, around the world. We went to the United States. We went to Central America. We went to Europe, where I met up with uh, my family in Greece. And uh, we spent about a week there in Greece with my family. Then on the way back home, we went to uh, uh, to Dubai. And we went to Singapore and then back home. When I was in Dubai, I spent five days there. And um, I really wanted to see the genuine Islam, but I was actually disappointed because, as, as everybody knows, Dubai is very much like surface paradise on steroids. Um, and there was one thing that really attracted me, and, and I went to this museum in, in Dubai, and um, there was a mosque across the road, and I felt really compelled to walk across and go to the mosque, you know, to find out. And, but I was wearing shorts and t-shirt, and I, I looked like a, you know, um, a typical Westerner, I guess. And uh, the people in, in the mosque were um, were wearing jubbas. I didn't realize it was a Friday, uh, Friday prayers. I didn't understand that, and I felt really uh, drawn to it. Anyway, to cut the long story short, I, I, I didn't go into the mosque, but I came back to Australia and I went on a new quest to, to research about Islam. And in 2006, I actually went and bought a, a Quran for the first time to read it. I'm a very slow reader, so it took me two, two and a half years to read it. And uh, uh, I must say that as I was reading it, I was shocked. I was in a state of shock. I, I didn't know that Jesus was in the Quran, peace be upon him. I didn't know that Moses was in the Quran. I didn't know that there was a stories of Lot and, and Noah and, and, and Moses and the 12 tribes of Israel. I didn't know this was in the Quran. And when I read it, I was actually quite shocked. And I thought, oh, wow. And there was nowhere in the Quran that was untoward or in, uh, anything that hinted towards extremism or terrorism or whatever, whatever, whatever. And this really prompted my interest even further. And so for the next two or so years, I, um, I really researched Islam. I read the Quran over and over again, or actually once, but... Um, 
And it, it came to a stage where in 2008, I actually wanted to embrace Islam, but I couldn't find any Muslim. I rang up a, a, a mosque, I sent them an email, I spoke to a neighbor. I, I asked them, can I have a copy of the Quran? Because at this stage, I had my Quran in storage. I was moving around quite a bit. No one would help me. And I thought, oh, okay. Uh, maybe Allah doesn't want me to become Muslim. So I was actually becoming quite panicked by this, you know. Anyway, uh, in 2009, I had to go, go to Sydney to renovate a unit. And I actually went, uh, I actually uh, uh, asked quite a few uh, tilers to give me a quote. And, and all, they were all Lebanese tilers. I thought that was very, very strange that all the tilers in Sydney happened to be Lebanese, you know. Anyway, there's, there's this one guy uh, who, uh, I, who I found um, um, to be very nice. His name was Samir. And I didn't think he was, a, he was a Muslim because he had no beard. And his apprentice, his son-in-law, his name was Adam. And I thought, oh, well, these guys must be Christian Maronite or something, you know. But they were nice guys. Anyway, at this stage, I had already learnt to, to do my prayers. I, I, had, I downloaded it from the internet, so I was actually doing my prayers about a week before my conversion. Uh, I had stopped drinking alcohol and eating pork about eight months earlier. Um, one day, Samir brought me a pizza you know, uh, in the morning and a drink. And he, and he kept on doing this. I thought that was very hospitable for these lovely Christian people, you know. Anyway, I, I didn't eat pork at this stage. So when I opened up the box, I could actually see the salami on this pizza. And I thought, oh, okay, I wonder if this is pork, you know. And I turned around to, to Samir and I says, um, is, this, um, is this halal? And he goes, yes, of course it is. And my jaw dropped and I walk, walked over to him and says, are you, are you a Muslim? He goes, yes, I am. And I go, oh. I want to become Muslim. The next day I, I, I took my shahada. The very next day he invited me over to his uh, brother-in-law's place and I, and I took shahada then. So it's, uh, I felt very happy by that, that decision and uh, I, I haven't looked back. So. Um, how did my family uh, react? Actually quite positively, uh, believe it or not. Uh, my mother was um, uh, questioning me quite a bit but Initially, she was sort of uh, negative, but when I explained, I actually gave her quite a lot of explanation and dower, and uh, now she's actually really okay with it. She's seen the change in me, inshallah, you know, so she's happy with that. My father is, my father is uh, nonchalant about it. He doesn't care either way, really. Uh, I think, um, but uh, he 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 sees that I'm, I I have become a, a more stable, a better person, I guess. Um, some of my distant relatives, my cousins and all that, they don't talk to me much, but they never really did anyway, so, yeah, no loss there. So, uh, they can say what they want about it, that's fine. I've got the strength to uh, not worry about that. I only care what Allah thinks, I don't care what people think. Um, but by and large, my experience with family and friends has been relatively positive. Uh, one of my friends is a Christian, he's, um, he's a pretty devout Christian, I was actually quite nervous telling him about it. But when I did, Alhamdulillah, he, um, he, he sort of um, he sort of was very happy because he understood he understands that um, true Muslims and true Christians actually have a lot in common, you know. And uh, he he uh, he's even prayed with me at the mosque, so you know, Alhamdulillah, that's very good. But generally, very very positive experience. It's given me more discipline, um, obviously doing your five, five daily prayers and, and, and performing your evolution and um, abstaining from eating during Ramadan, eating pork, drinking alcohol. It has changed uh, everything. It's changed uh, the whole dynamics of, of my life. And um, it's made, But the end result of that is that I feel a lot more calmer, a lot less agitated, a lot less angry, um, a lot more balanced in my thinking, a lot more measured, a lot more reasonable. Um, and a lot more even tempered. I used to have a very bad temper, but now I'm very, um, very relaxed. People can actually rub me up the wrong way quite a bit, and I won't react because Islam teaches us patience. And I'm very happy that uh, I've embraced this dean because um, it's given me a lot of qualities that I didn't have before. There's no conflicts with becoming Muslim and living in this country. In fact, uh, true Australian values and Islam go together. For instance, in, in the Australian values that I understand, uh, growing up as, a, as, as an Australian, um, mateship, yes, we have that in Islam. You know, Being respectful to your parents, yes, we have that in Islam. Um, 
being a law-abiding citizen, giving people a fair go, all these things are Australian values. Coincidentally, they also are Islamic values as well. So there is no, no conflict. And I guess when you talk to people uh, about, especially people who are negative about it, you actually sit down with these people and explain to them, they soon realise that Islam um, is, is a great system uh, to follow and there's absolutely no conflict with, um, with the Australian way of life. However, the bad aspects of the Australian way of life, like drinking and brawling and going to the pub and, and having uh, loose morals, these are not things that we embrace in Islam. And what we say to Australians is uh, um, the best out of Australian culture is also, is also what, what we also follow in Islam. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen